call me at 800-232-G or online at whitesidecars.com. Whiteside Auto, it's not a dealership, it's a destination. Feel good. Today's Sunny 95. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Everyone, welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 607. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today's show is entitled The Sound of a Dental Office Part 2. It was about five, six weeks ago when we brought you the first half. Didn't know it was going to be a two-part show, but it turns out there are so many sounds, I couldn't fit them all into one. So we decided to do a part two. And so we're going to have a little bit of fun like we did last time where we'll play a sound and ask if you can guess what it is. And then um, we will... Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think there's even one sound some dentists might not even recognize. But we're also going to give you free flowers. Everybody's going to have a chance to win them in about 10 minutes. Uh, before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. If you please go to my office Facebook page and like us. That would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Also, all past videos are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com, and we're streaming live on Facebook. All right, now, I want to congratulate the Buckeyes on their win yesterday. Started off gangbusters and then slowed down a little bit, but it's still a win, and um, I guess we need to get the number twos in there and get them some experience for later in the year as well. And like you, I've been following the crew, trying to figure out if they have a, a prayer of making the playoffs, and I guess they still have about a 3% chance, so well, let's hope for that. Uh, good luck to the crew. Um, I, I guess uh, each, each day, obviously, is important, and not just with the crew, but the other teams. For instance, we need um, uh, the Cincinnati team to beat New York. Uh, that would be a big help. So I don't know when they play, but we will see. And also, I want to wish everyone a happy uh, Labor Day. So I hope you're enjoying a uh, great time with your family. And I want to thank uh, Peter and uh, Jasmine for inviting my wife and I to a party last evening. It was awesome. And if any of you are listening, it was um, great to meet you and uh, hope to get to uh, get together with you folks again in the near future. Okay. So... Let's start. We're going to play the first sound. And again, these are sounds of the dental office. And we're going to see if you can guess what this is. Okay. Do you, can you think of that? I repeated it a couple times there. It's, it's, let's do it again. <laughs> Not necessarily the sound you think of when you think of dentist, is it? You usually think of the, you know, the suction or, or something like that. That is us taking an x-ray. Now you notice there's a sound, there's a little beep, and that's required by law, by the way. Uh, law is, is when x-rays are being uh, generated and, and somebody's uh, possibly being exposed, there has to be an audible sound uh, so that people can be forewarned. So, now, I was talking uh, with my um, hygienist, uh, let's see, I think it was Thursday, and uh, well, it was a patient was saying how uh, the x-rays, they're a little bit harder now because they're an x-ray sensor, they're hard to have in your mouth and have it be comfortable, and we get that, but I'll tell you what, what we were noticing was is the uh, quality is so much better, so we were trying to compare uh, somebody's uh, beginning cavity uh, that we saw on today's x-ray, Thursday's x-ray, and we were looking back at an old x-ray. It's like, was this spot here before? And was it this big? You know, that kind of thing. And we were looking back at the old x-ray when we used to use what's called phosphor plates, which was also digital, by the way, but not quite as good. And I'm like, how did we practice that way? How did we really know what we were looking at? I mean, I think we did. We did a good job. But it's so much better now. So 
Anyway, that's the sound of, um, of x-rays being exposed. Okay, let's listen to the next one. Okay, that one's a mystery, right? <laughs> That's a mystery. Okay, I'm going to give you one more chance to listen to that. The hint is, it's something that everybody dreads. Everybody dreads. And if we can tell you that we don't have to use it, <laughs> then um, you'd be happy. That's the sound of me loading the anesthetic syringe. And those last two taps were when you, we hit the plunger, you know, at the end so that the little harpoon engages the little rubber stop inside. So, yep, that's the sound. And by the way, you know, I tell everybody that'll listen, yes, that's a needle being loaded, and yes, we use needles, and people don't like needles. But, folks, you need to think about what it was like for dentistry when we didn't have anesthetic, when we couldn't use any, when there were no needles. You know, think how terrible that was. And so people tend to focus these days on, I hate needles, I don't want a needle, can I, I don't want a shot, you know, and forget about what it would be like to not have access to that, the comfort that that provides. So my suggestion is, rather than focusing on, I'm getting a shot, almost be grateful that we can give you a shot. I'm serious, just be grateful. It's really awesome. And the, the needles that we use, they're so tiny, I don't even know how they make them hollow. I don't. I just don't know how they get that little thing. And I'd love to go to the factory where they make them. I can't seem to find where that is. <laughs> I don't, maybe it's not even in the U.S. I don't know. Uh, there was one point where I thought I had it figured out, and I was going to make arrangements to go and do a little tour and do a show about it. And then that company was sold, and uh, the, somehow it was never able to connect with uh, the new people in charge. But um, one of these days, maybe... Or if you're a pharmacist or you're a manufacturer or you're a manufacturer's rep and you know where they make them, reach out to me. You can send me an email at thereasonswesmell.com. Spe it's called speaking at thereasonswesmell.com. Okay, so let's go on to our third sound. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, you probably think I'm making this stuff up, right? <laughs> that does not sound like something you would hear in a dental office, does it? Now, for those of us of a certain age, those little, uh, those little sounds sound a little bit like uh, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble getting ready to pick up the car and run with it, right? Uh, I thought that was so cute that they came up with that sound. I'm sure they created it on purpose. But when you heard it going, you know, click, 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 or whatever that sound was, uh, that was me adjusting the intensity on my BioLase Water Lase laser. Okay, so the humming sound is a, is a pump, and uh, the clicking sound is when we're actually uh, lasing, delivering the laser energy. And what I use that almost exclusively for is doing gingivectomy procedures, which is gum surgery for people who have allowed themselves to get either gingivitis, uh, severe gingivitis, I guess it would almost have to be with uh, periodontitis, where the bone is affected. We typically wouldn't do gum surgery if all you had was gingivitis, but... Um, the way we used to do it was to numb you up, take a scalpel, and, and basically slice off some of the extra tissue now uh, that, that is now keeping you from cleaning your teeth because you have the disease, but now we don't have to do that. We don't even use the laser to cut most of the time. It's almost always just we take that little, it's a glass rod, and that little clicking sound, remember the clicking sound, that um, goes down into the sulcus all the way around the tooth, and by delivering the laser energy that uh, to that area, it kills the anaerobic bacteria, it stimulates your body to heal, uh, which means it does, uh, releases growth hormone, no matter how old you are, when, you're, when you have tissue injury and you're trying to heal, it releases some growth hormone, and then um, the gums just pretty much shrink wrap around the teeth. It's really neat, and it looks great, it looks like it wasn't surgery, it's just that you're healthy now. 
So that's the sound, and you'd be wearing these dark glasses to protect your, your eyes in case you might happen to accidentally look over there. Okay? So anyway, that is the BioLays Water Lays. It's been around for a long time. I, I can't remember when I got my first one. I think it might have been in 2005 or so. And I'm telling you folks, this is the way to have gum surgery. This is, um, it's just so cool. I can't, I can't even believe it myself. Um, I used to use it for a little bit of hard tissue. Uh, you can, uh, there's a setting, there's another hand piece, they call it the turbo, and it has like, almost like a little crystal, like a little diamond, and you can uh, remove decay on, say, the outside of a molar or something with it, but I have another laser for that, one that, whose sound that we listened to uh, in the first part of this show, the Soleo laser, Solea, S-O-L-E-A. All right, so, anyway, that is the first three of the sounds that we want to... Uh, kind of have you think about and you might remember I said you're gonna have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis florist and so remember those three the first one was let's see what was the first one the first one was the x-ray exposure the second one was me loading the um, anesthetic syringe and the third one was my bio lace water lace okay we're gonna do that contest but before we do we'd like you to listen to this this station will not be held liable for any contesting during the reasons we smile with dr. Kavitko Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kabitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kabitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. Now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, today we're bringing you sounds from the dental office. Which of the following sounds are sounds you typically hear at a dental office? Is it A, is it B, is it C? all of the above. All right, the winner is going to receive free flowers from the Santa's Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to the reasons we smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers all in my office. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Joe.
Hanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Uh, Christine from Westerville is the winner. We lost our connection, so we don't have her live on the air, but uh, congratulations to Christine. And for those of you that didn't win today, please call back next week. All right, so if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 607 of The Reasons We Smile. We are bringing you sounds from the dental office, thought, things that I thought would be interesting and fun, and hopefully I'm not the only one. All right. <laughs> Thanks that way. All right. Here's one that's fun. Let's go to this one. Okay, so the, I'm sorry for there was a lot of background noise there and you heard the beeping. The beeping was the sound from last show. Uh, that was the intravenous, uh, I'm sorry, that was the EKG machine because we were doing intravenous sedation. But the other sound you heard, you don't think you hear in a dental office, do you? That's snoring. Somebody's snoring while they're getting their, uh, their, their dental work done at the office. And we hear that very, very often, to be honest, uh, because we do a lot of oral and intravenous sedation. So anyway, snoring was probably not on your list of sounds you thought you might hear. Okay, here's the next one. Okay. All right, anybody who's ever worked in the dental office has used that device. That, when we, when we, take an impression of your mouth and then we go to pour it we have to mix up plaster dental plaster dental stone and plaster and so uh, in order to keep there from being air bubbles we mi we take our mixing bowl and we set it on uh, a vibrator and it vibrates all of the air bubbles out and so that was a dental vibrator I just it's a dental vibrator that's all I'm saying uh, <laughs> we <laughs> and it's for getting the plaster bubbles out. All right, let's go to the next one. What in the heck is that? <laughs> you know what? That sounds like we're grinding on a person, right? And whenever we use that device, we always close the doors. That's in our dental lab, the lab that we have in the office. And there's two doors there. We make sure they're both closed because see, somebody who's down the hall thinks we're grinding on somebody down the hall. <laughs> what that is is a cast grinder. So after we pour those models and we let them harden, then we have to trim them. We trim off all of the excess. We make it a nice, uh, smooth edge. Uh, we, you might have seen, uh, those of you that have had braces have seen your own models where they have the sides are trimmed in a certain uh, uh, angle, and that's what that sound, that sound is those models being trimmed. There's water flowing so that the, uh, the, the dust doesn't you know, fill up the office, and so that is a dental cast grinder. Okay, I think we're going to do one more before the break, so let's go on to the next one. This one's 
interesting. Most dental office personnel would know this one. Well, I guess that's wrong. It's really, it's honestly only about 6% of dentists have this machine, so I guess I'm wrong. I know that was kind of long, but I wanted you to hear it come up. I wanted you to hear it doing some of the work, and I wanted you to hear it stopping. That is the Cirac milling machine. So when I talk about same-day crowns, and you're going to get the crown while you wait, we put a ceramic block in that machine. We, uh, After we've designed your crown, we put it in that machine and push start or push mill. And in about seven minutes, we get a crown back. And then we try it in, and then we, uh, uh, there's one kind of porcelain where all we have to do is polish it up and cement it. There's another porcelain that's uh, stronger that we bake first, and uh, when it comes out of the oven and is cooled, we fit it onto your tooth, make sure it flosses well, bites well, and fits well, and then we um, cement it. So anyway, that's the Cirac milling machine. And whenever we do one of these for a patient, we always offer them a chance to come and watch their crown mill, and that's the sound that they hear. Okay, so let's see here. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to a break. Um, we're, I, I'm having fun. I hope you are <laughs> listening to these sounds and see what maybe the next interesting sound might be. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, and we'll be right back. You can't take me as I am, not just a little bit. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Greiger. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> back. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 607 of The Reasons We Smile. We're bringing you sounds from the dental office, and we're seeing if you have, a, if you have any clue or if you can guess. Here's the next one. Okay. So that is me using the Cirac machine to acquire the image of your tooth after I've <laughs> prepared it for a crown. That machine used to make a, a, uh, like a clicking sound, and that was considered kind of irritating by a lot of dentists who were using the machine. So they asked the company if they could make that softer, nicer, and they came up with that nice little song. And so as long as we're hearing that song, it tells us that the computer is gathering good information. It's, um, it understands what it's getting. It's not confused. But there's another sound. Let me, let's go ahead and go to the other sound. Okay, so you might have heard the first sound in there. And what that is, that I call that song kind of a honky-tonk uh, a music, a little bit more abrasive, right? Still nice, but a little bit more abrasive. Well, that sound is when that same computer, that same Cirac acquisition unit, is confused. So I'm, I want to take pictures of the tooth, and I have my hand too far away, or I've moved my hand too quickly, and it's, it's, like, it's like, wait a minute, what's happening here? Or I have it angled wrong, 
And, this, and the computer's saying, hey, Doc, I'm not gathering any in information for you right now. You might want to hold your hand still, or you might want to angle your hand differently, or defog the, um, the, the little camera, or whatever it is. Uh, it's telling me, we're not gathering any information for you right now. So uh, that, was, um, uh, that was the CIRAC acquisition unit uh, when we're not getting good info into it. Okay, now... Let's do... where are we? We are... okay, we have one more here. Let's do this one. <laughs> By the way, we close the door when that one is being played, too. <laughs> what do I mean when we're doing that one? Um, that one's interesting because that is a pneumatic chisel for plaster. So those plaster models I was telling you about, we trim them on a cast grinder, but sometimes we have to, uh, like where the tongue space is, sometimes there's like a big spine of extra plaster in there and it would be in our way and so we have a couple choices. We can use uh, essentially a dental lab engine and grind it away, but that tends to fill the office with plaster dust or we can chisel it away with this device, which is an air-driven uh, almost like an air-driven um, small version of a jackhammer. In fact, it works just like a jackhammer. It has a little blade on it, uh, sharper than a jackhammer, but about the same shape. And we can chisel away the plaster. It kind of makes a mess. I always try to do it close to the trash can. And we make sure that the door is closed so people don't think we're doing that to somebody's tooth, because we don't. But more often than not, it's dental labs that have these, not dentists. Most of us dentists don't even know about them. The reason that I have one and have for several years is I happen to visit my dental lab. A lot of dentists do, but some never really go to their dental lab. They just let them handle things. And I don't know, I'm more hands-on, and I like to go and talk to the owner of the lab or whoever's going to do the work. And I saw this thing there, and it's like, what is that? I'd love to have one of those, and so I got one. So that's a uh, pneumatic chisel for plaster. And then there's one more sound bite that I realized I didn't send to my producer, um, and it was the Saleo laser. But I'll tell you that with the Soleo laser, it's basically a big pump. It's just a lot of noise. You can't make out any uh, indication of any real noises other than just, you know, it's just all white noise. Very loud white noise. But it doesn't sound anything like the BioLase water laser laser that we, we uh, brought to you earlier. Yeah, that's the BioLase. So the Soleo sounds a little different because there's a pump, there's a water pump. Uh, that uh, makes a lot of noise, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, and it has air too. So I could make it quieter by plugging the uh, airline from my office into it, but it's supposed to have 80 pounds of pressure per square inch, and if it doesn't, it can void the warranty. So rather than worrying about um, having quiet, I just go ahead and uh, use the noisy part that comes with it. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, isn't that interesting? I mean, uh, you d most people think when you go to the dentist, the sound is what? That high-speed dental drill, the suction, and that's pretty much it. But um, there's so many interesting sounds, and I'll tell you what, the cast grinder is maybe one of the biggest ones that a dentist and a dental assistant and a dental hygienist would remember. So, uh, But one of the things in, in, in the first uh, part of the show, like part one, one of the things you did not hear, in fact, the question of the day was, which of the sounds do you not hear at a dental office? And the answer that week was screaming. You do not hear screaming. People don't scream. People just, they don't, they, they, uh, more often than not, they say that was the best dental appointment I've ever had. I had no idea dentistry could be this, com this comfortable, this pleasant. Uh, so things have changed. And if you're one of the people that is avoiding the dentist because you are afraid of uh, what might happen, well... Uh, you don't have to avoid the dentist anymore. Times have changed and you can come in and we can take care of you in a way that it just isn't going to bother you. So it looks like I'm actually up against the end of the show. So sorry to my producer if I'm running a few seconds long. I do want everybody to have a great Labor Day. Okay, enjoy today and tomorrow. That's all the time we have, though. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kivitko. And visit my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Kivitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye.
Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at TheReasonsWeSmile.com.